My kids and I went strawberry picking the other day and it's one of our favorite things to do during strawberry picking season. I do have some leftover that need to get used, so I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make strawberry jam in our deluxe cooking blender. If you like this video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, links and information are in the description below. So the first thing you need for this recipe is a pound of strawberries. You can use fresh or frozen. I'm gonna be weighing them out on our digital scale. <laughs> Squeaky scale. So when you turn it on, I'm gonna be putting a bowl on. And one thing I love about it is as soon as I put it on, I can just tear it out, clear it to zero. And then I'm going to shift it from ounces to pounds so then I can measure it all the way up to one pound. I'm gonna to be topping the strawberries using our core and more. Just so you know, it is currently in our outlet, which means Pamper Chef actually discontinued it, but it is one of my favorite items. So if you're wanting to get your hands on it, I recommend doing it quick. It is only until it sells out. So I'm gonna be using the little claw top. You're just gonna grab the leaves and pull it up. The one thing I love is that you don't lose a lot of your strawberry. If you're using a knife and you cut off the top of your strawberry, there's a big difference. So you have quite a bit of strawberry there versus hardly any strawberry that you're losing. As you top them, just toss them in your bowl and you can keep track of how much your weight is. And you're gonna to wanna to do this until you hit a pound of strawberries. Once you have your pound of strawberries, you're ready to go. You're gonna pour your strawberries into your blender. And then you're gonna be adding two and a half tablespoons of pectin. I'm just using sure gel pectin, not a low sugar one, just a regular pectin. Once it's all in, lid on. For the strawberry jam, we're just gonna be selecting the jam setting. Start. The blender is beeped and it's telling us to add, so we're gonna go ahead and pour in the three cups of sugar. Gonna remove the lid. Pour it in. Put your lid back on. And then we're just gonna press the button to start it up. The jam is all done, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour it out of the blender. You don't wanna keep it in there because it will keep cooking and you run the risk of burning it. I've got two pint jars here, and this is gonna fill them both up. And that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up and let it do the wash cycle. And you're gonna to wanna to let your jam sit out till it cools down and you can put the lids on it. This jam is good in your fridge for two months. All right, I hope you guys end up loving the recipe and I'll talk to you next time.